This video demonstrates the procedure to perform the TKS Leading Edge Porous Panel Flow Operational Test on the Cessna Caravan. Please see Chapter 30-11-20 of the Model 208 Maintenance Manual for complete information concerning this procedure. This procedure applies to the cargo pod and the fairing TKS system installation on the 208 and 208V airplanes. This operational test is performed to determine if the TKS system is serviceable and to determine that the panels are not clogged. The panel purge and test procedures are only necessary after the installation of a replacement porous panel or if the fluid tank is removed and installed. The panel flow operations test is to be performed after the panel purge procedure is performed. Use only clean filtered and approved TKS fluids in the TKS system. Contamination will cause fluid blockage and or damage to the porous panel. It is important to immediately remove or contain all of the TKS fluid that is spilled. TKS fluid on the floor will cause a slip hazard. A fluid collector system can be fabricated to contain the TKS fluid and keep it off the floor. Recommended materials for a fluid collection system include plastic sheets, tubing, aluminum tape, and rigid aluminum and or plastic gutter material. Porous Panel Flow Operational Test To begin the porous panel flow operational test procedure, first ensure that the following circuit breakers on the left circuit breaker panel are engaged. Primary anti-ice, windshield anti-ice, and backup anti-ice. On airplanes that have the G1000 system installed, make sure that the engine interface circuit breaker on the avionics circuit breaker panel is engaged. On airplanes that do not have the G1000 system installed, make sure that the anti-ice gauge circuit breaker on the left circuit breaker panel is engaged. Connect the ground power unit GPU to the airplane and adjust to 28 volts DC plus or minus 0.5 volts. Ensure that the following switches are in the off position. External power, battery, fluid control primary, fluid control max flow, fluid control backup. Place a 3 to 5 gallon bucket below the TKS system drain line. Place a 3 to 5 gallon bucket below the propeller slinger. Place one blade of the propeller vertical and down with the bucket under it. Attach the fluid collector system below the airplane. Put a 3 to 5 gallon bucket in the correct position to collect fluid from the system. Make sure that the TKS fluid is above the minimum dispatch level in the sight glass. Set the external power switch to the on position. Set the battery switch to the on position. Set the fluid control primary switch to the high position. Set the fluid control backup switch to the on position. Operate the system until fluid is flowing out of all of the porous panels. Make sure that the fluid is flowing from all the panels and the propeller. Then, set the fluid control primary switch to the off position. Next, set the fluid control backup switch to the off position. Empty the fluid collected in the buckets. Replace the buckets. Next, set the fluid control primary switch to the high position. Operate the system for five minutes. Measure the fluid collected from the left side and right side of the airplane porous panels located on the wings and struts. Each side should have 1,550 milliliters with a tolerance of plus 600 milliliters or minus 300 milliliters. Make sure that the quantity of fluid collected from each side is within 600 milliliters of each other. Set the fluid control primary switch to the off position. Caution, do not run the windshield pump for more than 10 seconds continuously. Wait at least 10 seconds between pump operations. Set the max flow switch to the windshield position and then release. 
Note that the windshield pump will start when the spring-loaded max flow switch is put in the windshield position. The spray bar will spray fluid on the windshield for four seconds after the switch is released. Make sure that the windshield spray collection tube dispenses fluid through each supply hole and fluid is visible on the pilot's windshield. It may be necessary to operate the max flow switch set to the windshield position several times to get fluid to the windshield bar. Set the battery switch to the off position. Set the external power switch to the off position. Remove external power from the airplane. Remove the fluid collector system from the airplane. Clean the floor and the airplane surfaces as necessary. I hope you found this video to be helpful. For further information, please call Textron Aviation Team Turboprop Technical Support at 316-517-5800.